Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every subject, no exceptions. Better than PhD level intelligence, tons of record breaking moves on the AI benchmark charts. Does Grok 4 live up to the hype? Let's find out. In last night's 90 minute live stream, XAI officially rolled out Grok 4, highlighting a 256K context window, frontier level benchmark wins, and a new multi agent heavy tier priced at $300 per month. Let's take a look at the benchmarks. Grok 4 represents a massive leap in capability, requiring 10 times the computing power of its predecessor for its reasoning tasks. Grok 4 is putting up some impressive numbers numbers against its main competitors. On a comprehensive benchmark called Humanity's Last Exam, the top tier Grok 4 heavy model scored 44%, surpassing both Gemini 2.5 Pro and O3. Grok 4 excels at Arc AGI benchmark as well, which is designed to measure the progress towards general intelligence. You can see it's at 66% here, which beats out the previous O3 model. Grok 4 is also now topping out the Artificial Analysis Intelligence Index, beating out the previous Champ O3. And you can see this is a pretty massive leap from Grok 3, which was previously in sixth place. Grok 4 also shows leading performance in various specialized academic and reasoning benchmarks, including graduate level questions and math competitions. It's also now available in the XAPI. If you want to try out Grok 4 today, you can do it if you're a Super Grok user, which is $30 a month. But if you want to get your hands on the top of the line Grok 4 heavy model, you're going to have to shell out $300 a month, which is currently higher priced than OpenAI or Anthropic's $200 a month top tier plans. So let's get into some live coding demos, shall we? Let's see how Grok 4 measures up with a really simple coding tasks. I want to just create a Pomodoro app timer, a web app that basically tracks your work and rest cycles in 25 minute and five minute increments, which you can adjust. Let's see how Grok4 does. And while this is opening up, just for comparison's sake, I'm going to see how Claude 4 Opus handles the exact same prompt and compare the results that we get. Okay, so Grok4 just finished. Let's preview this to see what it looks like. Okay, so this I mean, this is about as basic as it gets. I'm not really sure whether to grade this a, a B minus or a C plus, but let's see how Claude did. Okay, so Claude's Pomodoro timer looks way more polished. I mean, this looks like complete garbage to me. I mean, I'm sorry, Grok4, but this was kind of a fail. Let's just call the win right now for Claude 4 Opus, but let's not give up hope yet. Let's give Grok4 one more chance on another coding trial. Let's try another one. In this case, we're going to make a pretty simple to-do list app, but this time I'm going to specifically prompt Grok4 to make it beautiful to see if it comes up with a better UI. And just for fairness, like last time, we're going to open up Claude, Claude 4 Opus, and give it the same prompt. Let's compare it. Okay, this time it came up with this pretty fast. Okay, here's the to-do list. This looks a little bit better. Let me add a to-do here for buy groceries. Okay, pretty basic. Let's see what Claude came up with. All right, it's still working on the artifact. It's working a little bit longer, so let's give it a bit more time to finish. Okay, yeah, I mean, Claude 4 is just so much better at UI than Grok 4. I don't know what it is or what they're doing on Anthropic side, but it's working a lot better. I mean, this looks okay, but it's still super basic. I mean, these are apps that models were probably creating last year. I mean, with like Claude 3.5, we've come a long way and it's a little disappointing to see that Grok 4 doesn't do that. But let's try one more test where we're not so focused on UI and maybe focus more on Grok 4's intelligence with solving coding problems. So for our third trial, we're going to take a real world coding task. We're going to take the to-do list app that Claude generated, which we preferred, and we're going to put it in cursor. From cursor, we're going to ask Grok4 to add clerk authentication to it. Clerk just authenticates users for sign in and sign up. So only authenticated users can access the to-do list app. So let's see how Grok4 does. So in cursor, I'm going to click here and type in this prompt to modify the to-do list app and add clerk authentication. I've added some guidance here, but tried to keep it general enough to, to see what the model can do. Okay, so it's planning quite a long time. It's taking several minutes to even start working. So let's see what it does next. So a few observations here. Grok4 is taking a long time to do this. It's been about nine minutes since I started this task and it's still not finished yet. If we were using Claude4 Sonnet or some other model, we'd be getting faster outputs from cursor. So Grok4 is definitely not the fastest model to choose, but let's see if it does it accurately and one shots this. So after 10 or 15 minutes, Grok finally finished but you can see we have some errors. So let's go ahead and add these to the chat and see if Grok4 can fix everything. Now, in the meantime, you can see that they've created a readme file that shows how to set up the clerk authentication. So I already have a clerk account, but if you don't, you go to clerk.com, create an account, get your publishable key and put it inside your .env. Now, 
Interestingly, they don't actually give a .env example here. Now, when I run these same prompts through Claude, usually, or if I'm working in Claude code, it sets up the env example so that you don't have to do anything. So that is a little bit surprising to see that Grok didn't do that, but let's see if it actually works once we fix the errors. So you can see we're still trying to fix these errors. I tried one time, it fixed two of the errors, there were three, and there's still one TypeScript error here with the JSX attribute, and it still can't solve it. So basically just gave up and asked me what I'd like to do. I'm gonna see if this thing still works by typing npn rum dev, and keep in mind that I have added the clerk API key to the env file. And let's go to the local host. Okay, so it opens here, but surprisingly the UI that we gave it that Claude created for us, you saw earlier, it looked pretty good. Grok4 has completely nerfed the UI. I mean, this looks like trash. I don't, I'm not sure what happened here, but let's, let's see if I got the clerk authentication right. Okay, so it's asking for a confirmation code. I'm gonna quickly step away to grab that and see if this works. Okay, and it does work, but again, this UI is completely gone. Grok4 worked for maybe about 15 minutes to implement the clerk authentication, and while the authentication flow does work, it caused serious problems to the UI that we already did. So what's the final verdict? Grog4 struggled on some basic coding tasks today. The Pomodoro and to-do list demos didn't quite meet expectations. It nearly nailed the clerk authorization flow, but then it overrode some existing UI components that were already working, and it consumed almost a million tokens over 15 minutes. This is far too resource intensive to be a good coding partner right now. So while Claude Code continues to deliver dependable, efficient results for my day-to-day -day coding workflow, Grok4 still feels too unpredictable as a programming assistant. I'll be sticking with Claude Code for now. That said, Grok4 remains extremely capable. Its frontier level benchmarks and reasoning prowess make it a powerful tool for research, productivity, and brainstorming. The way it thinks through problems from first principles is still very useful. So what's next for Grok4? Following the release of Grok4, XAI plans to release a specialized coding model next month, a multimodal agent the following month, and a video generation model the next month. So stay tuned as we review these in the coming months. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to follow for future reviews on these tools, and leave a comment below to let me know what coding or productivity challenge I should throw at Grok4.